What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next uh, the next episode to my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. This is Randolph happened last time. Uh, we have landed more forces on the Indian subcontinent to the south and we want to uh, drive northward and on the route we want to well, drive northward, push some of these random, not random, these wandering uh, armies out of our territory, push on and hit Goa and Satara. Then on the east we've also got one army that's uh, not in good shape, but they're ready, limbering up to go and take Hyderabad. We've also got one army down here to the south, going to attack this army that's, bait, that's uh, sat inside one of our fortresses. But first, we're going to engage Amin Suresh and his army that's in the field with our force under Maurice Duplier, or Duplay, which is a newly raised force from the Americas. So let's give them some battle experience on the Indian continent. I think that's the that's the best way to do it let's get some experience on these units but you mustn't forget we are at war with most of our uh most european powers as well right it's a bit of a dodgy position for artillery so i'm gonna build an artillery park up here because it'll be raised as long as it'll be okay as long as i charge my infantry down the hill in front of the guns. So these men will be towards the left of this feature. These men are going to be a bit of a flanking force to go around it. I'd like to get my skirmishes up there if I could. Let's put a cavalry unit on each flank. My howitzers can provide some measure of fire support from here. Skirmishes, Coureur de Bois. Nope, they can't get up there. Okay, skirmishes go on to the extreme right flank. Once my artillery gets up here, they'll be able to do a lot of damage. They've got mortars as well, so they can they can also do damage. There they go. Our field howitzers are in position. I hope you guys don't unlimber in a funny direction. Thought he heard a cavalry charge there. They always make a kind of noise. stuff keep our cavalry pushing around i mean they are incredibly bunched up together right now these are only levy so i'm not duly worried about their combat capability the general is about to get mowed down Musketry? Oh no, that's not their general, it's just war elephants. Common or garden war elephants. Here they come. So this is the new levy that's coming in to replace the old one. As the quick climb goes in. Not oh, quick climb, carcass shot goes in. Camels are upset. The dervishes do not want to uh, do not want to give in. Push these guys around. OK, 
Okay, let's get a quick climb shell. A carcass shop team working on those pikemen. You start working on those musketeers. Crash my cavalry into their flank. Because it looks like they're about to... Uh, their army is about to break. Well, it has, has broken. charge my men through this gap to chase down some of the routing troops. And avoid their pikemen entirely. I know that mostly these are all just levy, but right now there's not. There's no worries about chasing down levy at this point. Okay, let's start to get two of my gun teams to work on the general. Keep running my cavalry away. Pikemen are going to get within range. I'm not careful. Gotta be wary of the spikes. God damn, the morale really does break when it breaks. So my cuirassiers ride through the battlefield. Okay, you guys run over here to start to head off these guys that are routing in that direction. general in. Some levy is coming back. Musketeers are wavering, so now it's not musketeers, the... Not musketeers, the damn uh, pikemen are wavering, so ride in to take them out. These mortars have come back. We have charged the cavalry as well. Focus on the pikes. Beautiful. Damn right we're going to continue. Stop all our artillery from firing. Keep hopping from unit to unit. I mean, the Indian factions are doing what they what they uh, are really good at, and that's uh, splitting up and spreading their men out, making it as difficult as possible to kill as many of them as you as they can. okay. This is a pretty significant defeat. I mean, these are all heavy cavalry. They're not the best charging, chasing down troops. Oh my fartery. Engage that mortar unit, because they may as well have something to do. See, there's a bunch of pikes over there. Well away from where the body of, my, the body of man is. Maybe triple speed it. Because this is going to be funky no matter what, I think. 
they routed. Chase down the mortars, stop my foot artillery from engaging. You guys can now stop shooting because that's the l one of the last guys, I think. Chase down the mortar guy. Ah, got away. Yes, heroic victory. That's exactly what it was. That army got utterly smashed. The loss of nearly 200 men, 3,700 casualties. Forward! March! So you men can gather your strength and march on the city of Goa. You are gathering your strength and you will get over to this river crossing. You can't quite make for Hyderabad just yet. Mysore is under our control. Can't kill that guy yet. We can't leave, can we? No. Eight. Minus eight. Uh, there's no push. There's no rush to attack these guys because they're depleted and they're inside the city. Although, might be a bit... Don't have any howitzers to support. Let's bring up... No infantry. Oops. Bring up some howitzers to support the assault. And over here... I said, yeah, you're gonna not engage that army yet because I don't want them to be too overstretched. Lord... You can upgrade to next level fort. Make sure everyone that can, re can replenish over here near Bengal is replenishing. Immediately. Yes. Got this fleet down here causing trouble, but I don't really care. Let's sail into Goa. Let's run this unit of sepoys up to Mangalore. Let's probably recruit. Another unit of militia to hold Calicut, but then let's hop over to Europe. Because we are still at war with Sweden, we are at war with France, and we are at war with Spain. And it would be tempting to start to chip away at Swedish power. So this Ready, army, full of mercenaries, um, it's tempting to send them up to... Christiana. And I, what I don't like is that my navy might get surrounded. So I think what I'm going to do is A, move something off of my desk because it might be making a noise. There we go. Keep building up my fleet. Your Majesty. But I think I do want to take oh, this Lord. army embark them on this ship and attempt to land and take Norway because it looks like Norway is completely undefended because right now Sweden is very powerful it owns most of most of Europe including lots of the valuable bits of Europe so it would be useful to weaken them and that does mean eventually marching this army over across the border. Uh, but this army down here could do with... I can't build any artillery. Your orders, Your Majesty. But let's recruit some... Some grenadier guards and some engineers. Because I want to start to dig in on this bridge. in the Americas you are waiting for a ship to be recruited aren't you yes you are Our research and tech is going on stupendously well I'm researching quicklime classical economics and steam engine three very powerful technologies but I think everything is generally okay let's hit end turn and let's see what's what's going to happen. The Brit, the Royal Navy is still sailing around like the scamp they are.
We could punch straight for Paris, but I think that's a bit... It could feel a bit cheap doing that, personally, just gunning straight for the French capital like that. It kind of feels... It feels like that you're not really... Um, I don't know, it doesn't feel right that you should just be able to hop over to London. Well, people do that in their Great, Brit Great Britain campaign. They'll go straight for Paris. And it, I can, it, from a campaign perspective, it makes sense. Cause it, just, it very much significantly weakens one of your biggest rivals. But it doesn't feel right. Um, like through the Napoleonic Wars, Britain, you know, Britain was dead chuffed to get to Toulouse when, it, when they talk about uh, invading French territory. So it feels weird to just within the first the first instance to just go and capture their capital oh they're gathering their forces near a poor oh nuts 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 no Theodore run away I'm counting on them having used up their movement points to get to me and can't chase me oh no I'm sorry, Theodore. It's got to be an auto resolve. I can't fight. We yes! Theodore. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, why do we always forget about these armies at sea? I'm such an idiot. Ooh, do I want to intercept? No, I want to see what they do. Do I want to intercept you at Bengal? Probably. Because we're at full strength. And if we don't intercept, then you'll just attack. So let's drop some troops and cavalry to be our immediate reinforcements. Then let's go and take them out. And this is the reason why I've got those three armies in Bengal. One can fight, be nearly obliterated, pull out. Another one can go in. And then while the one that's obliterated is resupplying, or reinforcing, then the other army can fight as the garrison. And if they attack, you know, on the trot multiple times, that first army that's that's been depleted hasn't had time to reinforce. And that's why you have the third army to buy some more time. <laughs> Look how many wall holes are in this... How many holes are in this city? It's like a block of Swiss cheese. Like, <laughs> there's so many holes in these walls. Come on. So then let's... spread out the deployment of our artillery so that we don't have any areas that are too weak and isolated. Guard infantry! And we've got a lot of cavalry. It's not a great army to have really. Some of this cavalry, or well, most of it, is going to spend its time running around outside of the city walls doing damage. But we do have a good amount of artillery. And who have we still got left? Four good units. Another foot artillery unit, but I don't quite know what I'm going to do with them. If I deploy them right back here, will they build a lob shells at max range? That's what I'm curious about. Okay, let's just put some sepoys, sepoys, sepoys there. I think those fire will off. I might put a unit of East India Company in here. Put a grenadier or a Maison de Roy unit in here. you guys as a reserve.
Okay, that's everyone engaged. What the hell was that? Don't worry, I'll give them preemptive targets because we know they are going to be within range. And we do have some troops on the flank over here. Bowmen, musketeers, mortars. Right, where's my... Oh, my general. I forgot my general. So you are lobbing shells at their artillery. Granted, it's long range, but you have destroyed a gun. That's pretty good going. Okay, this cavalry is going to march out, try to take out the mortars. But it looks like they're coming in. Cavalry needs to run. Let's probably attack more of these units that are actually coming directly in. These guys going around the flank are concerning. Run our cavalry around their infantry. Could be a good hit. Not as many as, you'd, as I'd like. To be honest, only one of these needs to go hit the mortars. The rest of them can engage some of this infantry. I wonder if these guys are going to sneak run through this wall. Or run through this gate because they have done before Them. Okay, you guys run around. Ooh, good. Good hits, good hits. Charge the levy. See, you guys... See, now they've got the gate for some reason. Let's run these guys up to go hold the gatehouse. Where's our spare company cavalry? Get you guys out here, ready to charge into the rear of these men. Oh, it's because they captured the wall. Right, makes sense. Okay, we've we've drawn their cavalry into the fight. Get around the rear. So you guys charge in the sepoys. You guys charge in. These men are still needed to engage. The men charging the front. Levia wavering, which is good news. The 
Hindu musketeers are wavering, which is good. The Islamic swordsmen are the ones that have climbed the walls, which is also good. It means they are not the ones that are pushing. Okay, now that might be the end of our cavalry force. We've got to go intercept. Whoa, okay, you guys stop doing that. Kill the levy. There goes Dakili of Broken, trying to charge the Maison de Roy. Maison de Roy. 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 One or the other. And the cavalry. The Zemindari horsemen are going to beat my cavalry. The levy are coming back. Some Indari horsemen are going to beat my cavalry as well. My cavalry is now in on the fight here, which should upset them. Okay, you guys get out of there now. Cav yeah, there goes my cavalry force. Okay, no, you guys come back. So it's our infantry alone versus the swordsmen. Our cavalry can go take out their 12 pounders. In come the reinforcements, but get ready because they might get charged by horsemen. But to be honest, if they do, that would be a good thing. not fall down then if it's 100% damaged because it sure is 100% damaged. I think, it, I think it has. That's why they're down to 69 men. Go charge the rear of the Islamic swordsmen. Well, I mean, granted, them that is a general, not a cavalry yet, per se, but let's march these guys up over towards the general's bodyguard to engage them. There's my company cavalry, it's all the way back here. You guys gun your way back into the settlement to go and knock out. try and get these 14 men to abandon the combat and instead try and get back up onto the wall. Drop into squares because more cavalry is coming in. Fifth Tuman. No, 
There we go. Charge them in the rear with a general unit. Things ought to be a little bit more complex. Another unit. Yeah, that cavalry is not going to last very long. Because when they start charging this square, this square will shoot into them. Into the back. Come on, East India Company Infantry, or Louisiana and French East India Company. Yes, beautiful. Go. Now this canister unit can begin its fight. I mean, it might just catch this levy unit. Yeah, it did. Deploying a lot of men trying to kill my elites. general into the battle or into the into the picture now ah, there's a lot of them waiting to get in that's why bring these guard infantrymen in around let's hold your canister shot I want to try and get more men to support this fight Cavalry over here have been defeated, so I can march my infantry up. There we go, my men don't charge, they're going to shuffle. There we go, so now they're fighting my elite infantry up here, although they've made it up to the roof. All my artillery switched to round shot and engaged the general's bodyguard. Come on, why are you not? Strange how they aren't. Uh attack it. They are still pushing up. <laughs> Push up. Ooh, another good round shot into the general's bodyguard. Very well. If these men will not fight the way I want them to, then they will sit back and pour musketry into them. Point blank range. That is if they don't follow me. So my maison de bois, you guys hold them. Fire! Second rank. No, nope, they've all routed and victory is ours. There we go. So that's another army destroyed. They'll probably merge a couple of uh, broken units together. Yeah, because I didn't intercept, that army just ran straight around, which is okay. Chiefly, I want that fort to become a proper fort. I don't want it to stay as a wooden fort. Ooh, we've been attacked near Goa. For whatever reason, it's giving us not very good odds. 
but we should have fine odds because our army is in great shape. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the Louisiana Empire in the in the Indian subcontinent. Cheers, everyone.